the tradition in most uh, commercial films, in television very much, is that you uh, set up a shot with the actors and the actors' movements and then you light up the face and the body. You mold the face, you know. By doing this, uh, uh, what you do is to place the actor in a space so that the image is like a stage image in which the actor is placed. But if you actually light up the location first and then you see what kind of accidents are occurring, you know. If you move a character, what kinds of shadows are being created. Because there is a certain random quality about light on faces, you know. They are not molded in the way of a key light and a fill light and a background light, you know. And uh, this is an amazing fact about Guru Dutt. So that what you get is an entire image. I suspect that what he had in mind was the market that was developing at that time in India with the emergence of stars. Everybody realized that uh, the star was the horse you know, in the races and uh, it, everything centered on the star. You know. And uh, no longer the director was allowed to do what he wanted to do and in the time he wanted to do. For example, take 20 takes and spend a whole day trying to think of how he would conceive the scene. Guru Dutt himself had no reason to be anxious about uh, the rejection of a film because throughout his career, whether they were comedies or tragedies, he made more or less successful films. But he didn't realize that the film that he was making was going to be itself a big disaster. <laughs> 